Everyone would be like, wait, you did all that? You didn't have the resources for that. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I took down the entire town. All of it. Except for my home, which, yeah, that's going to get expanded and shit. It's going to look pretty neat, I think, when it's done. I definitely have to fix that fucking roof, though, because that's going to drive me up a wall. And that's going to drive me up a goddamn wall. But... I probably will not fix the roof of the castle walls because that would take so long. Or if I do, I will totally switch over to it in creative mode and do it and then pretend... Or, well, that's not even cheating, really. If all I'm doing is fixing the walls. I wouldn't consider that cheating. I'm a bit of an asshole when it comes to people cheating. At least in their Let's Plays. Like, I earned all this stuff through hard work. <laughs> sure you did. Sure you did. That's why I don't think uh, I don't think any time passed between that and your last recording, and suddenly you have a stack of thirty-six diamonds. Uh huh. Uh, granted, they're very famous YouTubers and whatnot. So if I even said that in the comment section, I'm fucking all over me, and I just don't feel like dealing with that bullshit. I'm like, man, if you can't tell that there's something up. Because I wouldn't even care if they went, yeah, guys, I have access to a diamond mine, but instead of mining, I just gave it to myself because I didn't have the time. As someone who doesn't have, you know, a lot of free time, you know, I, I can understand that. I can accept that. That's cool. <coughs> just, you know, it's when you come back maybe in the exact same spot that the last, uh, you know, your last thing ended. And you're like, yeah, I totally had this the whole time. Like, I call bullshit. I totally did this through hard work. And uh, you're literally standing the exact same spot you were. All right. Uh, because that's the thing. I, yeah, I don't care if someone cheats in video games as long as it's not a multiplayer game. As long as they don't pretend they're not cheating. Like fucking Pokemon. When I'm playing Pokemon for myself, for fun, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking cheat. I'll Game Genie or Game Shark the hell out of it so that I can get through the game faster. If I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use any of those, uh, I'm not gonna use a single one of those Pokemon to battle any of my friends, though, because that's fucking cheap. I don't need the hat. Well, I don't need dirt. Oh, that, that's bullshit. It ruins the fun. There's no point to it. If you wanna, you know, if you wanna be that overpowered, just go play a single player game and do it. If you wanna actually have a challenge with your friends, I can do that. Yeah, I. I haven't. E I still haven't even finished Pokemon Black or White too, but I, or in English, but I intend on getting uh, Pokemon X and Y when they come out. And yeah, I do mean both, as I gotta keep up that damn collection. Unfortunately, there's no point in me playing it in Japanese, because a, I would need to get my hand on a uh, Japanese, uh, you know, uh, 3DS, which I can tell you right now ain't gonna happen, because money. And, uh, but also, you know, it's just, you know, it, it's being released the exact same day. Literally the exact same day as the other one. Ow. Okay, I thought it was going to hurt there. But, um, uh, it's, um, yeah, there's no point. Hey, Carl, daddy's home. Sorry I wasn't able to kill you any dinner. Wait, if there's a red thing up there, or is that Carl? Does Carl show up as red on a radar? I think he does. All right. Let's put building materials away. So we put away this, 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 this. That's building materials. That. All right. So we're going to make the furnace. It's a shame you can't make like a double furnace using this. That'd be a great idea. Something that can cook twice as much, but only has one or twice as fast. And it's not going to be enough to cook all that, but it's going to be good for a bit. So let me see. What do we need to do? Well, we need to take down more buildings, obviously. Where is... We put those water buckets away, didn't we? Well, we're going to take one of those with us, because 
We're going to start trying to clear the land because it'll also give us um, access to seeds, which we'll want. I'm not sure if any of the mob uh, mods I have in give other, uh, like, plantable resources. But we'll find out, I'm sure. And can you fucking spread out a bit better? Thank you. I wish the water would all spread out, you know, around it like it does. You know, just all fucking head out in all directions. That would be so nice. Of course, there is a way to make it do it. I'm being dumb for not doing it. So let's put it... Uh, wait. There. All right. All right. Damn it. There. So it's... Eh. Oh. Or that. Or it could do that. It could totally fucking do that. Thank you. God damn. And like I said, the running directly towards the nearest edge is a bit of a dick. Because this is the most, still the most effective way to clear out shrubbery and scrubland in Minecraft. And... Like I said, if we wanted to get a bunch of seeds really quickly, this is pretty much it. Which is why I'm doing this, actually. There we go. Come on. Mm. There, that should be enough. All right. So we'll collect these. After a while, we'll start working on a standard farm. We don't need any fancy farms yet. And I'm trying to come up with a good design for a fancier farm. I mean, the design I've been using, a lot of people like it and compliment me on it, but it's actually not my design, so I don't want to take credit for it, and I don't want people to think I uh, designed it. So I think it's time to come up with a new farm type. I think I know how we can do it. So. We're going to need. Oh, we'll need more of that. There's a spider or something. Oh, no, that's Carl. Oh, God. I hope uh, Carl isn't the reason we can't sleep. That would suck, kind of. Oh, my, Carl. There may be a problem. I'm not sure what to do about it. Maybe I can move, uh... Oh, I bet if there's another door between him and me. Come on, Carl. This is gonna be your room now. You need to give Daddy his space so Daddy can sleep. There we go. Yep, it's Carl. That's unfortunate. But hey, he's, uh, he's our baby. We will, you know... Probably watch the hell out because I think his explosions will hurt us. So, I wonder what his maximum health is because if I can make it go, you know, up through the fucking roof, you can bet your ass I'm gonna. Alright, so let's. Alright. So, we took down uh, this house over here. Like I said, I'm still trying to decide what level it should be. We don't need this house now. Let's see, I didn't bring... I'm going to go get that extended axe. Might as well use it up. It needs using up. That's an expression you ever hear. Um, I hear some you know older people say it. I shouldn't say that. I'm getting older myself. But, um, you know, oh, it needs... Uh, something in the fridge needs eating up. That's one of the... I, I hear it now and then, and it's kind of a... Am I doing the food a favor? Uh, it's a, it needs eating up. And I, I should go check on that coal, actually. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a little bit out of it. It's warm. My brain doesn't work all the time. I'll put this in here. Uh, I'll just take that and place that and take that. So I can make two sets of torches. One at a time. 
the next update has different textures for coal and charcoal. I think that's going to be good because it won't piss me off quite as much. It's like, they look the same. All right, so, yeah, I actually came in also to put shit away. Good job, brain. You're welcome. All right, what don't I need? Uh, I'll put the thorn bushes and shit in there for now. And that, and chests, and the extra buckets, and the clock, because I don't give a shit anymore. Um, and I'm putting the water bucket in there. <coughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, where are we going to take down these houses? Because the diamond pick will last forever. If I can get enough to uh, make one more... And I think I'm going to have to start at this house and then climb my way over. Yeah, this is the advanced forge thing. That's kind of cool. I definitely like the speed on this axe. Let's see. I'm amazed there isn't some uh, lava hidden around here. That would be nice, actually. We do need some, like I said. This is, I guess this is like three buildings that have all gotten crushed together, isn't it? So, is there another back here that we go into? Yeah. I guess the stairs are supposed to be over... This is actually a kind of neat building, but we don't need it. Uh, another. We need to figure out how to get up on the roof. Ooh, there's torches here, too. That's going to be good. Oh, wow. I don't need those beds a damn bit, but we'll hang on to them for now. Alright, this is how we'll get up on the roof. Alright, and then... Eh. There we go. Up on the roof. The whole world at our fingertips. I don't know. That was a song, I think. I think it was by the Get Up Kids, a band, or not, sorry, not the Get Up Kids, just Get Up Kids. It was a band I really liked when I was a teenager. They eventually went really whiny, or at least very mainstream, and I, I kind of didn't like it, because they obviously were just like, we need money, let's sell out. And, um, it was kind of disappointing, because then they did not do as well as they had hoped, so they're just like, fine, we quit. Like, uh, well, there goes, uh, there goes, all right, this is the, not the house, all right, this is the not the house. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of damn steps, even if I'm not going to use them. I thought this was our house for a minute. Uh, our house is over there. And I think just a whole bunch of the, or because of the landscape, it generated all the houses too close together. So, oh well. Not a loss or anything, really. But, um... Let me see. I'm trying to think. There are a couple songs there I really like, but, you know, most people... Alright, I'll, I'll just put it this way. They were what we called garage punk back in the day. And, unfortunately, garage punk sort of changed over time and evolved into a lot of what people think of as emo the music these days. I mean, back then it just meant someone wrote a song and it wasn't, you know, it had a meaning to it instead of just, you know, I want to make money. Uh, there's a theory. Emo music was anything that was emotional. Now it means, you know, dark-haired teenagers who threatened to cut themselves.